Start needs to evolve. Why? Well, let's think about what the world's going to be like in 10 or 20 years from now. There'll be a lot more people, climate change will be a lot worse, and there'll be a lot more interdependence in our technological systems. These things and other factors will create more crises. More numbers of crises, they'll happen more frequently, they'll be bigger, and they'll be more uncertain and unpredictable. So the question that we need to answer as humanitarian professionals is what sort of humanitarian system will be effective in that future? Well, things like networks, decentralized, lots of organizations aligned but independent, locally appropriate but globally connected, volunteers and professionals, a whole of society approach. That's what will be effective, an agile system. This sort of system can be enabled by a different economy that mobilizes funding at a much greater scale and is triggered by shifts in risk, not events, that incentivize the type of behavior that will deliver efficient and effective and appropriate humanitarian aid. So really, we're talking about something quite simple, enabling NGOs to align in an operational practical network of national networks. Our legacy will be a resilient, future-proof humanitarian aid system powered by a global network of non-governmental organizations. But the humanitarian system is in a notoriously difficult position. The world from which it emerged no longer exists, and it is resistant to change. Let's imagine for a minute it's 2027 in a country experiencing an approaching drought which could cost lives and cause suffering for many people. In that country, there is a consortium of humanitarian organizations called the National Start Network Hub. That hub has identified indicators of this emerging drought, such as soil moisture content. Imagine the hub is insured against drought, and when the soil moisture falls below that trigger, the funding needed to stabilize the crisis is released. Imagine a large ecosystem of indigenous and international organizations is mobilized to an agreed plan to transfer cash to households before they have to sell their assets. The funding is allocated by peer review to the organization's best place to respond. Imagine that every single dollar is tracked on a fully transparent public ledger. By working together, we can make this happen. For this future network to succeed, we will need to create four things. One, a network culture that will enable individuals to collaborate effectively. Two, rights and obligations of organizational members and hubs. Three, different types of members, including frontline crisis responders, second-line service providers, commercial and social enterprises. And four, different ways for organizations to join and affiliate. We will also need functions that support the network. Global learning and innovation a tiered due diligence approach for risk-averse and risk-tolerant donors, and a global family of funds to share risk and provide predictable finance. But this isn't that difficult. You, as a member of the START Network, have already begun to build this future. We have collective management of pooled resources, allocating by peer review quickly and impartially. There are collaborative platforms in many countries that are building local leadership and capability. We have fast, needs-driven financing at the right time for the right responses. And we are generating experience every day in new ways of working. The START Network is an amazing inspiration. NGOs are collaborating in ways that were thought of as impossible only a few years ago. We are showing that a new and better humanitarian system is possible. Our results and our impact is clear. But to actually catalyze that new system, we need to change the current START network model is restricted. We are seen as a UK network that is centralized with limits to our membership, governance, and funding. That is why the START network must evolve. START is about to enter a period which we called START Evolves. It's an opportunity for the members and key stakeholders to define START's future. Over the next six months, we need all members to come together and begin to answer the key questions of START's future. We will design, plan, and consult to ensure we are fit for the future. We could transition beginning in 2018 to spin off from Save the Children UK and become an independent organization to bring in new resources. We can create autonomous national and regional networks of START network members. 
and we can gradually transition key functions of the network from wherever we are now to where we need to be. This sector and the START network can't evolve without you. We want you to help shape this future and bring your organizations along. Here are two things you can do right now. First, simply talk about how START is making a positive difference today with everyone you can and share its exciting potential, in particular with your organization's senior leadership and country teams. Second, help mobilize investment in the next step of the network's life with supporters and donors. This could be the future of humanitarian financing, and you need to be at the table to help shape it.